Hello, my friends, and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto, and I'm so happy because today my brand new book on the basics of drawing, The Ultimate Guide for Beginners, gets released to the public. You can get it today from Amazon and very soon from all major US bookstores. I worked for about two years on this project to bring all the fundamentals of drawing in a very simple form to you. And today we will pick from chapter 10, which is about surfaces and textures, how to draw glass, specifically how to draw marbles. When light hits a transparent object, it behaves like this. Let's say that the illumination is coming from the top left. The area on that top left of the object tends to be a little bit darker, except for a small, bright reflection, because the light will come through the object and hit the opposite side, which will be lighter. It will create a shadow that often will be darker close to it and then get lighter, and within that shadow there may be a refraction, a distorted light on the surface. Good. To draw our marbles, I will use a 2 to 3 mechanical pencil on grey toned paper. And to make them perfectly round, let's use a lid or a circular object or a compass. In this case, the source of light will be above and behind the object. So we will have a bright spot on top and I'll mark a few others. As I said, this area facing the light source will be darker, but not too dark since it is transparent and it lightens as it goes lower. Some marbles have a nice shape inside made by twisted paint, so let's draw that. With a white pencil we draw the top reflection and the lower area, which I will finish in a little bit. With a stump, we can soften and make more even the shading. This lower area, as we know, gets illuminated, but maybe a little bit less intensely than the top bright spot. We will have the cast shadow here with an illuminated area. And I switch to a softer leth for the darks. By the object, the shadow will be darker and then it lightens and gets softer. Of course, everything that I am telling you is just a guideline. It's a very general rule. It can change tremendously, depending on the type of illumination, how far the light is, how strong, how intense or diffused, and how transparent the object is, as well as its texture. And let's smooth out the shadow. The shape of the illumination on the surface may be like a water drop, or just a little dot, or it may have a strange shape, like a hairy monster, for example, <laughs> because of refraction. Very good! Excelente! And let's draw two more marbles. We will draw these basically in the same way, and I'll just give them a few variations. Of course, I can use the white pencil like this for the lights because I am drawing on toned paper. If I were drawing on white paper, I would leave that white for the lighter values. Inside, let's draw a different shape and in a different direction. If you make additional highlight reflections, remember to follow the shape of the surface of the object. And now, let's draw the third sphere, the third marble. And tell me, did you used to play marbles when you were a little kid? I did. We do the shadow, and again, you can see the degradation of value from darker on top of the sphere, going lighter toward the bottom, and with the lower part illuminated as hit by the light. In this case of the third marble, I am adding a darker area toward the bottom 
as if it were reflecting something. As you saw, I'm mainly using a kneaded eraser when I need to lighten or erase an area with graphite. The list with all the materials that I am using is in the description below the video. If you made it all the way to this point, I would love to know it. Please in the comments write me the secret code. Don't lose your marbles. <laughs> we give it the last touches and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already, get my book with the link below, <laughs> and I will see you with more creations on Tuesday.